Hey guys, welcome back to DIY with me. Today we are going to take a simple pipe cleaner and turn it into a napkin holder. Now, I will tell you that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Melissa, why are you showing us all these things with linen napkins? I don't understand. Why are you showing us this? Well, guys, I'm going to use one of the paper napkins today and we're going to use the paper napkin and we're going to get it done. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to need a pipe cleaner, a white pipe cleaner, or if you want to make your bunny a different color, you can use any other color pipe cleaner you want. Some, of course, googly eyes. And you know I love my googly eyes. And I haven't even made a dent in these yet. You're going to need a little pink pom-pom, which I have. And you're also going to need some hot glue. The only reason why you're going to need hot glue is you're going to need it to stick on the googly eyes, which I'm going to go ahead and pull out the two smallest ones I have. Um, you're going to need them for the googly eyes. And you're also going to need them to put in the pom-pom on top of the um on top of the bunny now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pipe cleaner i'm going to lift up my arms and you are going to fold it in half it doesn't have to be perfect but fold it in half and then what you're going to do once you fold it in half is you're going to take it and you're just going to come and you're just going to make one twist on it that's all you're doing next so that's all we did right now is we made a twist you see that that's the bunny's head then you're going to come back here, fold this over, and you're going to fold it in. Bunny ear. You're going to take the same side, fold it in. This one may be a little bit smaller. Try to see if I can get my ears kind of looking similar. And you're just going to fold it over. Now, one of your bunny's ears may look smaller than the other, only because I think I made my hole bigger but that's okay we got that going on so that's the very first thing so all we've done right now is we folded our pipe cleaner so our pipe cleaner is sitting this way on our floor next thing you got you got it we are going to actually add in the nose and the eyes so the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put a little bit of glue on and i'm going to actually put the nose in first because the nose is going to work with the placement of the eyes. Okay. Now I don't have a little white pom-pom out. So I'm going to use my little black pom-pom for the actual tail of the bunny. But that's okay. We can work with it. We can do it. It's going to have a bunny with a black tail. Because some bunnies do have black tails. Next we're going to add on both sides of the nose some more hot glue. And we're going to take our little eyes and we are going to place them down make sure it hears and we are going to place them down so you get this now my ears are a little bit off for my bunny but that's okay bunny's ears are not always the big tall bunny ears some have flopsy ears when i was growing up my sister had a bunny whose head tend to tilt to the side like this so he had one ear smaller than the other so that's that's okay and then you're going to come back and on the back and this is what i'm saying you use what you have if you have a white pom-pom 100 percent use a white pom-pom but i forgot to get mine out and i had a black one up here on my desk so i'm using the black pom-pom just so it kind of stains out a little bit and i'm going to let that dry but look how easy and quick that was we easily we just had a bunny we just did a pipe cleaner we folded it we didn't do any gluing or anything until we got to the part where we had to add the little accents like his eyes and his nose and his in his tail and then what i'm going to do is i have this paper napkin and i am just going to take the paper napkin and unfold it and pull it through and there you go guys you have a cute little Whoops, it's coming out. A cute little Easter bunny. Zoom in. A little Easter bunny. Table setting. For your table. You can sit him like this. He can sit on the napkin. It looks like he's on a rocket, doesn't it? But there you go, guys. It took us less than five minutes to create this little cutie. And what a cutie he is. This would be great to have your kids create. If you want your kids to do this, you can have them shape the 
pipe cleaners. Mom and dads can do this with the kids, shape the pipe cleaners, and then mom and dad can come back and add the accents on. And that's a great family activity as well. And also, I would pair this up with um, uh, any book about Easter, any book about my favorite book when I was growing up was The Velveteen Rabbit. So you could also pair it up with reading a book about The Velveteen Rabbit and just sharing about what bunnies do and do this. And this would be a great little science lesson or our social studies lesson, our living history lesson, talk about what we get from bunnies and and maybe take a trip to a farm or go, or go see a bunny as well. You can do so many possibilities with this. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this cute little craft. I love this. I think I'm gonna create a lot of different ones for this. The only thing is, I think I'm gonna actually not fold my paper in half, uh, my pipe cleaner in half. I think I might fold it less so you can go back and you can kind of trial and error because I would like my bunny's ears to be bigger. But still, the guys, this is so cute. And here it is sitting out by itself. And like I said, it's just pipe cleaners. No cutting of the pipe cleaners. Just a pipe cleaner, googly eyes, a pink pom-pom. You can put a white pom-pom on the back, but I chose not to put a white pom-pom on the back. And it's really cute. You could actually, if you want to, lay it on the table like this and maybe fill it with an egg or jelly beans or something like that just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. But guys, you don't have to spend a lot. You don't have to do these elaborate crafts to make someone feel, feel special. You can actually just do something like this. It's super quick and easy and fun to do and easy for the kids to do as well. So until next time, please like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.